गुड इवनिंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द टॉपिक करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज थर्ड चैप्टर सी दीज आर द पोर्शन वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन योर करेंट इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फर्स्ट वी विल नो वट इज करेंट एंड वाई द करेंट फ्लोज इन ए सर्किट the ohm's law resistance resistivity and conductivity then we will go for drift velocity current density and electric current emf internal resistance and terminal potential difference resistances in series and parallel and what is resistance then we will go for kirchhoff's laws and then electric power and heat generated in a when a current flows through a resistor then wheatstone bridge and meter bridge that the measuring devices resistance measuring devices then we will go for potentiometer and applications we will see students so let us start this chapter current electricity and the first part is electric current let me clarify about you actually current electricity it is a branch of your electrodynamics the first two chapter what we have learnt that is your uh, first one is electric charges and fields and the second one is electric potential and capacitance this two chapter they belong to electrostatics there these are the phenomena that involves their charges at rest that two chapters they are related to charges at rest that's why they are called electrostatics now this current electricity it is a branch that uh, belongs to where charges are in motion so The, so the concept is little bit different here is the dynamism comes in this chapter uh, so because of that let us understand what is electric current and why a current is flowing in a circuit see it has n number of applications because in our day to day life without current life is impossible nowadays it is unthinkable yes the world is unthinkable means we cannot imagine the world without this electricity or electric current so it is very fundamental concept of physics we must know what is electric current suppose you have a conductor with you already i have discussed conductor insulators ha huh? suppose you have a conductor conductor means these are the materials those are having high capability to flow the charges along them they have large number of free electrons within them so let us understand the flow of charge actually electric current is nothing but the flow of charge that is called your electric current clear so if a charge a charge will flow then it constitute an electric current means try to understand suppose you are standing somewhere just like electric current is just like your water current suppose there is a pipe through that pipe water is flowing yes you are standing at a particular cross section and you are measuring what is the amount of water flowing uh, through a cross section through a cross section that is perpendicular to the flow per unit time clear means let me explain you once again suppose you are measuring the amount of flow of water through a cross cross section that cross section is held suppose this is the cross section and this is the flow that cross section is held perpendicular to the direction of the flow and you are measuring the amount of water flowing per unit time through the cross section that is called water current similarly if you think suppose charges are moving through a cross section like uh, through in inside a pipe uh, charges are flowing you are standing at a cross section and you are measuring a uh, one second you find let's say 2 micro coulomb amount of charge is flowing so your current is your current is 2 micro coulomb per second so that is the amount of current flowing through that cross section means rate of flow of charge clear then the fundamental question here why the charge will flow what is the dynamic what compels the charges to be in motion that is the most important part here charge will flow remember the charge will flow if there is a potential difference that is a simple logic potential we know if there is a potential difference then the charge will flow let us take simple example suppose there are two char two charged objects having 
different charges may be same charges may be different charges but the potential of this object is v1 and the potential of this object is v2 let's say that this v1 is greater than v2 so if you connect these two objects by a conductor because of the potential difference the charge will flow from higher potential to lower potential if these two they are given some positive charges try to understand this concept there are two varieties of charges positive charge and negative charge a positive charge always flow from higher potential to lower potential and a negative charge always try to flow from lower potential to higher potential this is a fundamental concept try to understand it so if let us take both of them they are having positive charges so if they will be having positive charges potential of v1 is greater than v2 then all of them positive charge from v1 will flow to v2 till their potential becomes equal just an analogy just an example or illustrations let me give you suppose you have a two containers of different shapes in one container the height of the water what you have taken it is more and in another container the height of the water is very less suppose you have joined the two container by through a pipeline there is a knob when you open the knob yes then you will see water from the container having higher amount of height will flow to the container where the height of the water is less means the water here is having higher energy than this so this amount of water they will uh, pass through the pipeline to the second container till their level becomes equal the same thing you can see here till the potential of the two conductors will be equal then till that point of time the charges will flow got so that is the normal logic here if there is a potential difference then the charges will flow in the circuit clear now the question arises the charge the flow of charge it may be in a constant rate or may be in a variable rate clear so because of that reason we can have two varieties of current clear like one is, one we can say a variable current in the second case can be a steady current but for if, if if we consider for a small fraction of time then at a particular time what is the value of the current if someone will ask you very very small interval of time if someone will ask you what is the current in through that cross section then we can say i is mathematically we can say i is what between that small time segment delta t tends to zero what we have taken here it is limit delta t tends to zero del q upon del t del q is, if is the amount of charge flowing through the cross section within a small time interval delta t so del q upon del t well delta t is very very small it's given your current i or you can uh, so it by a small i clear because you are measuring for a small time interval and it is nothing but your dq upon dt remember here q is a variable with the time it's not a constant one means the rate of flow of charge is not constant with time but if the current is steady means if the current with the flow is smooth then in that case we can have the current the definition of the current to be i is equal to q upon t charge by its simply time clear so this is this formula is applicable for your steady current in steady st steady flow of charges here it's for a variable amount of charges flowing through a cross section got now uh, see uh, just now we we must assign a direction to the current flow because there it's a flow of charge in which direction we will take the direction of the current flow suppose you have a conductor basically we have two directions of current flow one is called your conventional current flow and another one is your electronic current flow what is the basic difference see in this two it is because of the nature of the charges earlier we know this conventional current conventional current is what it is the direction in which the positive charges 
moves if there is a potential difference that is, that is the direction of the flow of the positive charges in if if in that direction we will con we will consider the current then that current is called your conventional current got but electronic current is what it is the direction of the flow of the electrons along that direction we will take the electronic current so what what is the concept there try to understand here because the current the 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 concept of current is different for uh, your liquids gases uh, and for solids also usually in the case of solid metallic solids the current the electric current the current is because of the free electrons only there the positive charges they won't move at all because they are heavy and the electric field won't influence them got but electrons they are because they are free so they can move inside the conductor let us take the example suppose you have a conductor there is a source that maintains a constant potential difference across it try to understand this is unlike this example is only like that that one there once the potential difference becomes equal the, the charge flow ceases but in this case this battery or there is an external source which provides a constant potential difference that maintains a constant potential difference across the end of a conductor because of the constant potential difference on electric field is set up within the conductor and because of that electric field the free electrons inside it gets influenced clear and because see in a metal there are large number of atoms atoms they are usually they are placed in a structural manner so this field is not sufficient to pull them from their uh, position to constitute a current in the circuit they also they are heavy they are heavier electrons are very light that's why this electric field what is set up within this conductor it will uh, move because of this electric field set up by this external battery so what we will do see this uh, point is positive so means we can say this end is at high potential and this end is at lower potential so there is a electric field set up from the high potential to the lower potential yes so means this is the direction of the electric field and you know electrons will move from lower potential to higher potential so in this direction actually in this direction the electrons will move so the direction of the arrow will show you the direction of the electronic current clear this is the direction in which the electrons will flow in a conductor solid metallic conductor if by convention if you see we can say that opposite to electron we can think of we can think of as if electrons are rest positive charges are moving from the direction opposite to it means here the the, the dotted arrow is represented representing your conventional current flow but see students in actual case in a solid con metallic conductor there is no concept of conventional current but we can think of but the actual current flow is because of the free electrons present inside the metal now here some someone might uh, question uh, we know the uh, electric field inside the conductor is zero but how the electric field is set up by this battery see that is under your static situation but here it is the dynamic situation where we are forcibly applying the electric field across it clear so that is the difference between here here we are applying a constant potential difference across it clear here because of that reason an electric field is set up within that region so that's why it is your dynamics or huh? current or your electro dynamics and you see this to this conventional current has importance in the case of the your liquid whenever a current passes through a liquid see inside the liquid the current passes because of the ions in a liquid there will be both kinds of ions are present 
positive ion and negative ion. So in that case, this conventional current has an important role. Clear? So this is the uh, this is the concept of your electric current. Thank you.